The last step we're going to do is to machine the ends of the part. And uh, we're going to select an end mill to do that. Davey's got an end mill here. And uh, whenever we do it, we want to make sure we have an end mill that's long enough that's going to clear our part. So if we hold this up here, you can see that that's going to be able to machine the whole thing. We don't want to get an end mill that's too long because the longer the end mill, the less rigid it's going to be. So we have a good end mill here. Davey's going to show us how to take uh, this particular tool out of the machine. So he's going to take his wrench. He's going to hold on the brake. And he is going to loosen this up on the top. And as he loosens this up, After he gets this thing loosened up, now he wants to take it and just give it a tap with his dead blow so that it releases it from the hold it has on the bottom. So he gives it a light tap and now the part should spin pretty freely and he should be able to take this part out. His finger, it's loosened up. So he can actually take it out now after he screws it out from his drawbar. See it's dropping down. Okay, so now his uh, tools come out. He's going to put the other one up in the same procedure that we did whenever we put our face mill in. He's going to tighten up his drawbar, hold the brake on, tighten it up with the wrench. 